Good afternoon everybody. It is Monday, December 7. It's lunchtime, We're coming up to one o'clock. I'll show you up there, quarter to one. And we're in Highbury in North London. The reason we're here is to firstly check out the, uh, the architecture and, um, and secondly, anything else that uh, comes our way. So um, enjoy the tour. I'll speak when, uh, when necessary, if I, if I can think of anything to say. Uh, but um, yeah, just show you the other side of the street there. I've just come out of the tube station and I'm now going to explore the, uh, the squares and residential streets of this very interesting part of inner London. Um, have a look through there. Welcome to Union Chapel uh, Lecture Hall. Um, don't know much about the, the history of that, but um, that's the Union Chapel Congregational Church and it has some pretty nice gold enamel on the doors there. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's carry on. So this area of Highbury has a um, <coughs> pretty interesting heritage in terms of uh, social history, um, literature, and uh, of course, um, one or two politicians have, have lived here. Uh, but I mean, really the, to me, the architecture is the standout feature. Um, I mean, these sort of classic black iron, iron wrought railings on, the, on my left here, uh, just your, your typical um, uh, sort of 19th century London uh, terraced properties. Um, yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll go in for detail, especially if I can see a, a blue plaque uh, indicating that there was a connection with a pre previous uh, famous resident. I suppose to many people in the world, if you mentioned Highbury or. Arsenal, they'll think of the the, uh, the great football club which is here. Um, it's uh, now in a, a new uh, arena, the Emirates Stadium, which is a 10 minute walk from its old home, which was uh, Highbury Football Stadium. So there's some interesting sort of wooden detail on those windows uh, inside there. and the Euro flag. Not a huge fan myself. But uh, this is um, always just such an inspiring area for me. I see so many details of, sort of 19th century um, yeah, in terms of the previous uh, trade and business that would have taken place here um, and all of it of course above eye level so uh, as I say repeatedly uh, <coughs> cast your gaze up to to heaven and you'll see uh, some pretty interesting stuff but have a look at some of these these condiments and bits and pieces, very nice. Um, this nice food store here. Uh, okay, let's uh, swing around here. Um, yeah, this is Tyne, Tynedale Terrace, so this is Canterbury Square. And just gonna show you that, zoom up on that light there.
yeah it's, it's dry the temperature's good it's about um feels like about 5c uh, 41 fahrenheit so uh, no complaints there um, but just have a look at some of these beautiful cream uh, regency style terraces i mean they're absolutely uh, beautiful um, extremely pricey of course there's no way that uh, I'll ever be living here but um, yeah they're just absolutely splendid and there you've got Canterbury Square I think it's N1 maybe something pretty interesting there Samuel Phelps 1804 to 1878 a tragedian lived here <sighs> you can hear me breathing in there's just such a great bite in the air. I love the sort of cold air in fact it might be less than five it's more like probably three celsius which i think is about 37 fahrenheit still um yeah not particularly cold by any means and let's whiz around here yeah, last night i was watching two fellow youtubers the action kid channel which i'm a regular viewer of and uh, <clears throat> he was um, in Brooklyn, in New York City, looking at some of the uh, Christmas decorations. Um, and he did a good couple of hours recording there. Uh, show you the uh, London Borough of Islington, Canterbury Square. And it's a pretty beautiful looking London Square there. Um, yes, yeah, so... Um, he was really focusing on an area called uh, Diker Valley, which um, is noted for the residents putting up some great Christmas decorations. So I enjoyed um, that video, definitely. I'll show you these, uh, these places. They're just, uh, yeah, so good. <coughs> but we're going over here. There's the show you where I am, Canterbury Square. Going over here to look at something pretty special. And there you go. Zoom you up on that, the great man himself. George Orwell, novelist and essayist. So as I said, it has a connection uh, resident-wise with, um, with social history, with literature, with art. I mean, look at that, that tree there. It's a beautiful specimen. Yeah, it's just such an all-round great area. It's just um, always pleasant to come down here. And this is a magnificent house. This is Canterbury House. And that is absolutely beautiful. beautiful tree there, it's fine. And we'll 
go in here. Sir Basil Spence, 1907 to 1976 architect, lived and worked here in English Heritage Blue Plan. And then, I mean, this is pretty special here, isn't it? I mean, look at the look at the touches here. I mean, the the tree, the everything. Show you the back of back of that. It's beautiful. And it just comes around here. Yeah, never having studied architecture as such, I can't reel off the, uh, the various technical terms for the, um, the sort of plaster work, the, uh, the roofing, etc. But um, I just know what I like. Uh, Canonbury Tower, Islington, giving you a sort of idea just how how much history there is here. And then the backs of those terraces where we've just come from on Canonbury Square. So perhaps George Orwell had a room maybe facing out from one of those windows. Who knows? Yeah, very easy part of London to reach here if you were to take the Victoria Line out from central London to Highbury and Islington Station it would take you um, 15 minutes maximum and you would be um, you'd be right here show you some of the details there. What I've noticed um, in London in, in the last few months, most of this year, is there seems to be an extraordinarily um, new amount of road work. They're constantly digging up the, the roads um, in a way that um, I don't remember noticing before and almost all uh, residential and sort of co commercial areas they just seem to be constantly working the roads so uh, don't really know what what all that's about but um, just have have a look at some of these local businesses here um, a few of them are closed Got a nice um, pub there, the Canonbury Tavern. Um, let's go over here. What you, you won't be able to extract from from my walk is just the the wonderful sort of woody, smoky smells that I'm getting um, just from. Uh, yeah, just from the air, just uh, pretty beautiful. Yeah, I think much of this area has a sort of heritage uh, or local conservation uh, attachment to it. So there will be some regulations around what you can do in terms of um, building extensions uh, there's a number I mean there will be a number of planning uh, regulations but um, yeah I'm going to show you around another part of Highbury that was really just to focus on Canonbury Square and the George Orwell connection but um, 
we're going to have a look at some some other aspects and if you are um, an aficionado of North London well I'll, I'll certainly be bringing plenty of videos um, of this part of London um, <clears throat> mainly because for me it's uh, it's a lot easier to to get to uh, show you the London Borough of Islington St Mary's Grove um, there's many places in South London I do like and I will be covering them but um, it just uh, it's often more convenient for me just to travel uh, over from Enfield and just um, uh, check out the the north inner London areas so um, just uploaded recently a video on Stoke Newington Church Street which is one of my favorite places and later today I think I think I'll do Holloway Road um, I featured uh, Victoria Park, Hampstead Heath, um, uh, other places. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, play it by ear and um, just always expect uh, new videos of uh, different areas. So let's uh, swing back over here. So up ahead is Highbury Corner, but I'm attempting to cross this road so I don't have to get caught up with the traffic lights up there. These cream coloured sort of terraces that uh, you'll always see, as I, I think it's sort of typical of London. I mean, this is um, yeah, very, typical site uh, some of them have been um, well maintained and uh, look pretty posh and others you'll see a lot of paint uh, flaking uh, paint cracking etc I mean that's what's so interesting about London it's um, it's a smogger's board of uh, different moods, different styles, um, different looks. There's so much uh, to take in. It's quite decent, uh, the crystals. And London, of course, is full of muse places, and there's one there, Assetor Muse. Well, that's uh, a giant uh, seashell in that fishmonger's. It's pretty nice. Got a nice delicatessen there with some beautiful breads, etc. And I think we'll swing around here, maybe not there, let's go around here.
Yeah, you can see in the centre of your picture that's Highbury Islington Station where I uh, started off this morning and uh, will be returning there later this afternoon. But uh, here we go, this is uh, Highbury Fields and we're going to spend some time looking around here. And I'll show you Highbury Place on a little local map there in the borough of Islington. And let's have a look at this. You can see there. Um, I yeah, don't know who she is. Without my glasses, I just can't read it. But there's a cannon there. And up here, there's a pretty interesting detail. I mean, look at the... The old signage there you've got exit and entrance do like that right um, let us check out highbury fields ah there's something i've just spotted another green plaque let's go over there certainly worth crossing over for. There you go, we've got Walter Sickert, artist, 1860 to 1942. So reinforcing the, uh, the connections with art here, with literature, with social history, just uh, such a such an interesting area. But let's uh, go across Highbury Fields. And what, what I think is fantastic here, these trees, I mean, look at that. Such a st stately looking botanical specimen. And another one similar. Yeah, there's another place called London Fields, which uh, again has uh, some great tree specimens so um, I expect I will do a filming there so we'll we'll have a have a look at some more trees there Again, a couple of brilliant trees there. Yeah, the, the leaf cover's almost totally gone now. Um, there's just something up there, but most of the trees are bare now. So there you go, it's a good 
panorama of Highbury Fields. I'll just uh, walk along here. Yeah, of course the, the days are uh, pretty short now. It's um, 7th of December, so it's just two weeks until the, the shortest day on the 21st. So um, it's getting dark now about 3.50, 4 o'clock. So uh, if you want to get out and, and get some daylight, which is pretty important, then you need to... Uh, to leave home in the morning, uh, otherwise uh, it's just too... Boy, the day is gone, isn't it? But surrounding Highbury Fields, you can see, um, I'll just show you, they're just fine looking, what, which what would be re really what you could call mansions um, of... Uh, the sort of wealthier upper middle classes of the of the 19th and early 20th century um, and of course mo much of or mo most of these buildings will now be converted into uh, a number of uh, separate properties um, but uh, back in the day they would have probably been uh, single family residences with, uh, of course, the, the various domestic staff living, living on site too. There's a nice uh, sign up there suing up Highbury Crescent. Nice place there, Wilmington House. And then I'll zoom you across the fields. I mean, look at that, that row of uh, 19th century properties. That is, uh, that's a thing of well, a work of art as far as I'm concerned. And uh, if I could draw, if I could paint, I would uh, certainly like to have a go at that. Um, yeah, it's got everything, hasn't it? The, the bare trees in winter, the park, the um, magnificent architecture, it's got everything. I suppose my attraction in doing these videos and showing you these parts of London is because the world and his wife is familiar with Piccadilly Circus, Buckingham Palace, um, etc, etc. Um, but uh, I like the, the sort of more le less defined areas. Um, not just in London, but in any city. Um, as I often mention, when I've been visiting New York City, I like to get out of Manhattan and uh, check out some of the outer boroughs. Uh, some of the places just a little bit below the radar. Um, and that, I think that's the same anyway. I mean, yes, if you've never been to a, a city before, obviously you want to see it's great iconic attractions it's museums etc etc but then um, I would say you can't really beat just having a walk around a local area um, you know you, you'll always 
find something of interest. And so far, no birds. Normally, you'd expect to see a few robins, uh, blackbirds, magpies, but nothing so far. And then there you go. That's a nice uh, look back at where we've just come from, just along the crescent there. And we'll continue up here. go up here and I'll show you the north side of Highbury Fields there looking pretty fine um, and then swinging it round the south side of Highbury Fields actually feels bigger than I remember um, have not been here too many times, maybe four or five times in the last five years, but um, yeah, I must say it's looking pretty nice today. And there you go, London Borough of Islington, Highbury Crescent, N5. Yeah, just looking at these these trees really. And I'll show you the north side of the crescent there. Let's see if I can zoom you up on some of the details. It's three times the zoom. Let's show you that. And then, no surprise, this is interesting to me, the detail on that light there. You can see it's got a um, slightly different style to the other ones. And there's a nice little bit of wording there, Highbury Fields. Um, I must educate myself about the the different types of street lighting, uh, the names for the, uh, the various styles you see. Um, I'm sure there'll be something online or even better, a book specifically on it. show you that it's really pretty muddy now um, and have a look at the pathway there yeah I just have to keep sucking in that that cold winter air I just absolutely love that We're 
going to exit the north uh, east side of Highbury Fields and there's a very special little street I'm going to show you around we'll just uh, have a look so this this walk will certainly be more than my usual 30 minutes uh, could be up to an hour I expect on this one It's an absolutely fine looking church and steeple up ahead. So we'll have a, a look at that. Yeah, in the recent video, I, I featured a church just next to Cliss Old Park in uh, Stoke Newington, which I really admire. And um, this one is kind of less impressive but uh, still not bad but we're going to have a look at a special detail up here and it's this uh, item straight in front let's have a look So you have Queen Victoria, of course, just in the middle there. And here it says, uh, refurbished 1997, funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund, Heritage of London Trust, Highbury Fields Association, Hugh Grover Associates. But the uh, key bit of information is here presented to the Islington, Islington Vestry by Alfred Hutchinson in celebration of the 60th anniversary of the reign of Her Most Gracious Majesty, Queen Victoria. And 1897 is when this uh, memorial uh, piece was built. So there you go, it's uh, pretty nice. And we're coming up to another one of my top 20 London streets called Highbury Barn, which I only really discovered within the last five years. But um, you'll, you'll see what I mean. It's again got a special local flavour to it. Uh, if there's any striking details to be seen today, we'll, we'll go in for a look. So uh, there we go, Highbury Barn. Uh, just give you a, a little look. So there's Highbury Fields where we've just come from. And we're just uh, there. People queuing up there at the post office, I think, probably to get off their Christmas cards. A nice florist there. And this is pretty special. Another great london butcher look at that won't appeal if you're a vegetarian but it's um pretty nice and then this is what we're really about here this great pub the highbury barn let's go and have a look just your classic victorian ale house and there's uh some pretty decent Christmas trees for sale there. Um, 
yeah, some nice uh, wreaths as well. But just have a look at the, the detail there on the thing there. Um, Watley Coombs Reed Imperial Stouts and Ales. And there's a green, spotted a green flak. So we'll go in closer for that. And in fact, it's pretty interesting. It's um, referencing the Peasants' Revolt of 1381, in which Highbury Manor was burnt and destroyed. So I um, had not seen that before, so that's certainly an inter interesting detail. Um, so if you want to know about the Peasants' Revolt and Wat Tyler, um, his revolt against the king, do look up that, that period of history. Um, pretty brutal, but pretty interesting. But did not actually know that uh, there was a, a connection um, to, uh, to himself uh, just there. Uh, check out this pretty impressive uh, cheese and wine and fruit shop. Again, more cakes, can never get enough cakes, and a nice uh, Father Christmas in the window there. So, uh, all good. Um, where shall we go now? I think we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just swing back uh, the other side. And there you can see a nice uh, angle on the yeah, pub front right. I, with I, the, I, I the church sort of tucked behind and the, the iconic London red bus there. So, um, it's a nice uh, Santa Claus or Father Christmas. Yeah, so I hope you'll agree with me that there's just a bit of character um, in this area and what I'm always doing as well is just looking above the ground floor shop premises to see if there's any interesting bits on the first floor um, and look at this this is absolutely magnificent here this um, London hardware store with its display love that and then crossing the uh, queue for the post office These days, um, all the London buses are heavily sort of decorated, and there's a great thing there. Feel the rhythm of Korea like that. Um, I'm excited. Um, and we'll uh, we'll swing over here, I think. So all in all, just a bustling commercial, uh, residential, retail area. Um, just a, a slice of, uh, of inner London um, on a mid-December weekday lunchtime coming up to, to Christmas. So there you go, there's the memorial to Queen Victoria again. So thanks for watching and check out all my other stuff, Kent Davidson, Urban Adventures. Bye for now.